Delahousse. You be like, man, there we go. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to the Wednesday night live and on stage. I am Leatrice Elzey. I am um, a proud board member of NPN. And with me is Wood Delahousse. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Delahousse. <laughs> and so we're going, we have a few stage remarks for you before we get started this evening. So welcome to tonight's performance. They are part of the in National Performance Network's annual conference hosted by Ashe Cultural Center. Uh -huh. That's right. The Contemporary Arts Center, Junebug Productions, and New Orleans Host Committee. Thank you, Lisa. All right, tonight's live. And Hello, how y'all feeling? Y'all all right? Yeah. You know, y'all seem a little, okay. Tonight's live and on stage performances. Um, features the, new, the work of NOLA's contemporary performance makers. Artists were selected by the New Orleans Host Committee and local NPM partners to represent the rich diversity of the local artist community. They are rich. Tonight we'll see performances by KM Dance Projects, Vagabond Inventions, Hassan Inn, and NOLA Creation and Development Fund artists. Last Call, Layla McCalla, and Junebug Productions. So before we get started, we of course have to acknowledge our funders. So there are any, fun just give them a round of applause before you can say who they are. So they are the Doris Duke Charitable Foundation. Thank you, Doris Duke. The Andrew Mellon Foundation. Merci. The Ford Foundation. The National Endowment for the Arts. Certain Foundation. Hellas Foundation. New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation. Barrios, Kingdorf, and Castille. LLP, the Lambent Foundation, Louisiana Office of Cultural Development, Alternate Roots, Tito's Vodka, and generous support from partners, colleagues, and friends. All right, thank you. We definitely want to give it up for the staff of the Contemporary Arts Center. Please give these hardworking folks a round of applause. And also give it up for HowlRound for recording and uh, streaming tonight's events. Now, you all have spaces. Please, your cell phones, if you still have a pager, if you have a digital watch, if you're a janitor and have a lot of keys, if you have a pacemaker in your chest, let's put it all on vibrate or off, off preferably. All right, now I'm gonna hand it off to this phenomenal person to my left. Give it up for Ben Levine, our production manager, who has a few doos and don'ts for the evening. Thank you. So I am so excited about tonight's performance. We are making live and an onstage history tonight, doing something that has never been done before. Leave it to New Orleans to do something different. Um, we will not stay in our seats tonight, no. We will be traveling around through four different spaces within the CAC. Ooh, ah. So I have a question for the artists and the presenters in the audience. Would anyone identify as grassroots or um, maybe even, dare I say it, um, scrappy? Yeah. Okay, all right, good, good. So um, tonight, please um, put away your opera glasses and uh, we're gonna move 
through uh, the warehouse spaces here at the CAC, and I'm gonna ask you to uh, get down and dirty with the artists, get right up on in there. You can sit on the floor, you can sit in a chair, you can sit in a stool, you can stand in the back, but do not tell me afterwards that you couldn't see, all right? So I'm giving you all agency over your own rear ends. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so um, if you can't see or if you're uncomfortable, you just move on closer, uh, look around someone else and uh, we're gonna have a great time here tonight. Good evening. Uh, my name's Kiyoko McCray. I'm the director of the first piece. Thank you. Um, I wanted to take a moment to dedicate tonight's performance uh, to our collaborator on uh, breaking the thermometer to hide the fever, master Haitian drummer and voodoo hugon Damas uh, Fan Fan Louis, who passed away yesterday. Yeah, we're deeply grateful to his contributions to developing breaking the thermometer and for all his gifts that he has shared with so many people throughout the world. Uh, tonight's performance is for Fan Fan. Thank you.
are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Well, it's pretty, um, you know, it's pretty special for me to be interviewing a journalist. <laughs> Because I'm a musician, so I have to say I'm a little bit nervous. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. We can just, uh, you know, take out whatever we want. Savon, Von Dilbon. Radio IT, 1330 AM, tout pays. I decided that, that uh, what really worked in Haiti was radio. And what really worked was a station I was listening to, which was Radio Haiti. And Radio Haiti at the time had started uh, not doing news yet, but doing uh, some, uh, um, let's say, uh, experiment about Creole and about culture, introducing what they call the Haitian identity into a nondescript uh, media landscape where uh, everything was French and everything was about what the Western world thought you know, uh, about things. And then one day I met Jean Dominique and he asked me to come and train his journalist. We usually started at six o'clock in the morning and we started with a new show in Creole. And we had another show at 7 o'clock, which was uh, uh, anchored by Jean Dominique and by myself, uh, which lasted until 8.30. Uh, then after that, we had the music programs, uh, with a lot of stress on Haitian music, and a lot of, uh, a lot of it on uh, Racine music, music from the countryside. while uh, I was meeting with the newsroom and assigning a task to the newsroom. Um, and we had uh, every day uh, those meetings with discussions about what they would be covering. Uh, we had uh, uh, our second, our second uh, group of uh, uh, news programs uh, at uh, 12 o'clock. And uh, at uh, uh, one o'clock, we had Micro Témoin, which was a magazine, uh, which was uh, about uh, actualities, things happening, but a more in-depth uh, approach to the events. That was in French. Uh, in the afternoon at four o'clock, we had a news magazine, uh, which became longer and longer as people really started uh, uh, expressing their interest for the uh, Then uh, at uh, six o'clock, we had another news program in French. And at nine o'clock, we had uh, a news program in Creole. By touching on subjects that were never touched before, I think we did uh, manage to expand um, the, uh, the scope of uh, uh, what could be talked about. And slowly, in 78, 79, at the time it was the Carter administration, the Carter administration was saying, uh, we get, give you money to the government. We give you money uh, on one condition, is that there is respect for human rights. Well, the time has come. You've seen the map. We've looked at the figures, and NBC News now makes its projection for the presidency. Reagan is our projected winner. Ronald Wilson Reagan of California, a sports announcer, a film actor, a governor of California, is our projected winner. At eight well, November 1980, I think the government decided that uh, uh, they could strike for one simple reason, because of the U.S. elections. Uh, you had had elections where uh, Ronald Reagan had become the president of the United States. At the time, uh, I remember the election in the U.S. elections. We were covering that at the radio in the middle of the night. Uh, when uh, uh, we announced the results. We heard people from our studios downtown, we heard, you know, people shout, um, shooting in the, in the air, and they were bakuts who were saying, human rights are over. The cowboys are back in the White House. Bon appétit, messieurs. Depuis quelques jours, il circule un étrange discours dans la ville et dans le pays. Discours dirigé contre les indépendants, 
on dit bien les indépendants et non les opposants. Subtil distinguo chargé de signification. Nos confrères de la presse officielle chantent, semble-t-il, depuis quelques jours, le même refrain à l'unisson. La presse indépendante de Rénovant s'est terminée. Fini. Kaba. À Radio Nationale, à la Télévision Nationale, dans le quotidien officiel, on nous le dit sur tous les tons. Taisez-vous, messieurs, le bal est fini. Sous-entendu, pour les indépendants. Le bal Les victimes accumulées depuis quelques années dans nos rangs, dans nos rangs journalistes, avaient-ils été au bal Un bal macabre, qui nous rappellerait celui de Rochambeau peut-être. Un bal... reaction on the part of the county administration and uh, at the time when uh, they struck it was not just the media in the case of the case of radio haiti were totally destroyed everyone who was at the station was arrested everyone that could move in haiti was just in one day arrested and the country fell once more into complete silence Some of my journalists stayed in jail a month, one of them a year, another one two years. Um, uh, we were expelled because uh, there was a strong protest on the part of the Lame Duck administration, uh, the current administration, 
uh, and we were released uh, uh, five days later uh, with the clothes on our back, uh, put it on a plane. And uh, the first, we were the first to be expelled, there were four of us. We arrived in Miami and we had to explain to them that we were just expelled. Thank God, they had, there was a newspaper, the Miami Herald was on the um, immigration guy's uh, desk where it was cracked down in Haiti and it was about us. So they kept our, our passports at the US uh, uh, immigration uh, uh, office and uh, I just uh, went to, the, to New York. With, uh, because there were some Haitians there at the airport showing their uh, solidarity and they, they paid my flight to, uh, to New York. I knew they were looking for Jean. And Jean had to go into hiding and for about uh, uh, five, six days. Then he was uh, taken to uh, the Venezuelan embassy and from the Venezuelan embassy he flew to Caracas. And uh, we met again uh, in uh, January. 1981. That's when he came and joined me in New York. Exilé dans le pays moins, déporté dans le pays So everyone stay put here for two more works. Let's give it up for Layla McCalla. <laughs> Next up is Junebug Productions' Gomela, yeah. um, followed by KM Dance Project Bashamani. I'm gonna go move some speakers. There, the sun shines in all of its brilliance, 
on all who are privileged to drink of its nectar. It's never too much or too big. The belly stays full. A world where every day is perfection and all things are possible. There are no concerns for generations to come. No questions of whether the spoon will be silver or gold and the stories that were told of what they will become. Here, the sun is always going down, leaving empty days of trying to catch up, keep up, and stay up. Here, the thirst is never quenched, and the children continue to cry out. Sustainment becomes an increasing trial up the rough side of the mountain, and it gets difficult to drink from that fountain of life and all of its abundance. Together, they stumble from their slumber after a long night of festive elixirs and song, passing one another, not realizing that they both belong to the richness of this crescent city. While on their journey of life, they sometimes ponder and maybe they wonder about the other side of strife. But too often, it's only a passing thought that dissipates like the dew in the morning on the neutral ground. In the end, they are left yearning like two distant lovers in a suspended climax that never seems to end. those who work 25 hours a day for 24 cents an hour. It's for those who trod the streets stress heavy, their feet strapped with anguish, backs bent with burden. It's for those who live between the lines of fear and confusion. It's for those whose eyes have witnessed a sunrise and they still question the awesome power of a supreme being. It's for those against the wall, or in the dust, or behind the bars, or on the other side of the barrel. It's for those who do not see God in the mirror, or a tree, or a blade of grass, a homeless man, a crescent moon, a drop of dew, a ray of sun, or a purple sky. It's for those who have given up on life and just wonder how they are still allowed to open their eyes real wide in the morning. And I say to you, it is not yet time to die. For seekers of a better way, for speakers of new words, for creators of another day, awake from your slumber, massive in number, as brave as thunder, as courageous as hope, as audacious as faith. I see heaven in your face. How does it feel just knowing that wherever you you, the holiest of holies, is present in the form of you. Oh, this is for you. It's for your work. It's nothing less than divine. I'm saying this for all of those who survive, who get up, who scream, even when the takers try and zap their dreams, who shout no, who cry yes, who feel the glory of victory boiling in their chest. It's for the lovers of love, for thinkers of peace, for workers of justice filled hands of freedom, whose voices ring high when vibrations are low. It's for the tillers of the earth and the seeds that grow, grow big, grow long, grow up and grow high. Rise and take your stance, because it is not yet time to die. Hey! Hey, nah! Now y'all know that sound. Oh, everybody know that sound. Look, everybody know once that trumpet blared and bass bump. Look, everybody know to take it to the streets. Oh, everybody know that egg pocket way that how your mom and them look. I wish a motherfucker would tell me something about my city. I'm telling you, everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows the sound of the place where the people still love, where the people still hope, where the people still dance. All the while, 
Searching the horizon for that one glad morning, seeking the sound of the sun. We're speaking in tongues. It might not get you no hallelujah. Oh, but it will get you a una nena. You know that sound. Does everybody know that sound? Look, it is here. We are accessing our best while wading through our worst. Oh, we are angels in the dirt. Dust-filled wings flying our way to glory. Buck jumping our bones up to heaven. Bambooled back to life. Calendered conscious. Rebirth by the river, wrapped up in rhythm, and then we second line right on home. Because we want to bring back black. <laughs> oh, we want to bring black back. Ancient thoughts to present thinkers so future generations can be healed within one moment. Time stands still or ceases to exist, but a minute by a minute. Standards is a mere blink in the master's eye. Oh, who can master time? Who can move mountains? Who can make music that makes motions that move us forward to bring us back? Yeah, we want that black back. We want that good news that renews that old time religion. It was good for my ancestors, so it showed up good enough for that take us back, that take us back, that back bent spinal spiral, a cosmic swirling, a whirling dervish twirling. Double helix like dance of sacred energy, molecular memory. Oh, this is music's beginning, the magic of mourning, recalling ancestral tones that make you remember things you never knew you know. Oh, no. Now, English ain't my first tongue. You know where I come from. It encompasses here. Spirit speaks from the deep and can see with eyes here. Everything has an answer. Love. Bring back love. Bring black love. Bring back love. Bring back black love. No matter the question love. No matter the time love. No matter the question love. No matter the time love. No matter the question love. No matter the time love. No matter the question love. No matter the time. It's love. Hendes personlighed var sprudlende, og hukommelsen god. Hun kunne endda spikke et tolerant niveau af hollandsk, lidt engelsk, og hun havde endda lært lidt fransk under hendes ophold i Paris. Hendes traditionelle dans var fra hendes land, og hendes talent for at spille jødeharpe et streng instrument for hendes normale natur. Hendes skuldre og ryg er graciøse, hendes arme er slanke, og hendes hænder charmerende, og hendes fødder pæne. Ikke desto mindre kan den fysiologiske beskrivelse ikke skjule afskyen ved hende.
ansigtstrækkende som den brede kæbe, de fede læber og den korte hage, er klassisk for næeren. Mens de brede, store kinder og smalle øjne og flade næser virker nærmest mongolsk. Hun kan kategoriseres og sammenlignes med mange aber, da hendes ører er små og deforme, som en orangutangs. Og ofte skubber hun sine tykke, fede læber ud af på en måde, som aber gør. Selv hendes sprudlende personlighed, der skifter ind til hurtige og uforudsete bevægelser, minder om abens. Anatomiske observationer har verificeret, at Bartmann er meget tæt på aben, det som de kalder Bohish Mane. Meget heller det end hotten tot.
Y'all enjoying yourselves? Uh -oh. we're, we're doing this. We're almost there. We're giving up. We're almost, we're maybe giving up. I'm standing here. Um, so this is now intermission. Please take